Okay, so I know I'm first, but uh, yeah, my um, mine's not really a question. Uh, what I um, really wanted to um, say is that I wanted to give my um, gratitude and appreciation to you for uh, your hard work uh, playing uh, Chrissy in uh, the Stranger Things franchise and uh, for coming here uh, to sweet. the city of Toronto for 40 to meet and greet all of us. And I was very inspired by this uh, that you guys saw where a fan voiced uh, his appreciation for uh, Joseph Quinn at the convention in London. And I thought it would be right if uh, you were given the same praise as well. So I want to say that even though Eddie, he had the advantage where um, we got to know him for a full season, I think what's really incredible about what you brought to Chrissy is that we were, you gave us like a massive impression where we just wanted to see a lot more of her and she was taken too soon. So I think you did a great job of making us care a lot about the character. No problem. <laughs> all of this has come out of such a short stint, you know? You hear people talk about the fact that Joe Quinn was only in 20 minutes, the Stranger Things. I mean, you were just in the one episode. Did you have any idea? That, I mean, because Stranger Things was popular, did you have any idea? No, I, these lights are so bright. <laughs> <laughs> I just see you guys. I'm just like, <laughs> stare at the boys. <laughs> um, no, I really thought that um, because Chrissy is in so little of it, I thought that people would watch it and be like, can she just leave so that we can get back to our main cast? And then at the end of the episode, be like, thank God, she's dead. <laughs> um, so this is completely different. Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> Couldn't be farther from what happened, which is amazing. The opposite of what I thought. <laughs> so good. Oh, so good. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This is so crazy. Wow. Um, it's so nice to see you here. So, like you mentioned, um, you stream in addition to acting, so I was wondering, what's your favorite part about both streaming and acting? Meeting people. Yeah. Um, meeting people either to work with or who are fans of the work or the, the streaming, which is cool because that just means that you like watching me scream, which is kind of weird, <laughs> but cool. Um, so, it's just, yeah, just meeting people. I'm pretty antisocial, so... <laughs> Both things get me out <laughs> of my shell. <laughs> Something we can all relate to here, I think. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Thank you so much. Oh, hi. 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 Oh. Do you have any upcoming movies or TV series that you're going to be in? <coughs> yes, I have the movie that's premiering at TIFF, and then I'm about to go film two movies Ooh. soon. But I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about yet. <laughs> <laughs> we look forward to them anyway. Well, we'll be keeping an eye out. Don't, don't you worry. <laughs> Great question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, um, so we all know that Stranger Things has been yelled for some really long and intense filming days. So I was just wondering what it was like to film that final scene with Chrissy and end kind of episode one. Mm -hmm. Which part? Because there's like <laughs> Chrissy's house part with Vecna, and then there's like Eddie's trailer part. Um, probably Eddie's trailer part. Eddie's trailer part? Um, for me, it was pretty easy. It was probably a lot more work for Joe. For me, I just was like wired into the ceiling and it was like, <laughs> like the stairs. <laughs> so, it was a walking part for me. <laughs> but how'd you get your bones to bend like that? <laughs> I will never tell. <laughs> Industry secret, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> if they specifically tried to hire a um, contortionist. Oh. And I was like, no, sir, I am not a contortionist. I barely do yoga. <laughs> also, I don't think you know what contortionist is. <laughs> 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 Hi. 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 Um, I'm Nick, and I just, mine is a bit more of a question and a comment. Um, I just wanted to say so much what the first person said, that like, the fact that you were able to get such an incredible audience and fan base from a single episode just is a testimony to how good of an actress you are. I personally, um, you've been an inspiration to me since Greenhouse Academy. I, I grew up with that TV show. And um, so yeah, um, Greenhouse was actually the, uh, what inspired me to become an actor. So as an expired, as an expired, 
aspiring <laughs> actor, what is your some of it, like some advice that you have for breaking into the industry? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I got really lucky. Um, but I guess, like, do take acting classes, because I, I only took it one for three months, but it did really help me, and I do find myself resorting back to things that I learned in that all the time. Um, but do find one that matches with you, because there are ones that will not. Thank you so much. I'm glad, I'm glad they brought up Greenhouse Academy because that was a really big show on Netflix for a really long time. I mean, what, what did you love about shooting that? I mean, my best friend on that show. No way. Yeah, I talk to her every day. We lived together for a little bit last year. That's amazing. Yeah. Who's that? Um, Raina Hardesty, she played Aspen. She was more in season two than season one. Yeah. But I love her. That's so great. You were also in The Village yeah. uh, for a season. I, that was like... People love that show. A very cult hit, I think. Yeah. I uh, have you met any fans, village fans, this weekend? Um, no, I don't really think they're con goers. That makes sense. <laughs> that, you know what? That makes sense. They're more like wine and lounge at home goers. <laughs> <laughs> a different audience. I get sent a lot of selfies of people having wine and baking cake while they watch it, which is like a vibe, a total vibe. <laughs> I know people. I love that. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Hi. Like maybe if you were younger, um, if you ever like had like an experience at like something fan expo, like if you ever met your favorite celebrity. That's a cool yeah. My favorite celebrity's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I love Paul Newman. Oh, great choice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I feel like one of the cast members, which I didn't think, or you might have been asked this before, but I'm going to ask you a kiss, may I kill question. Oh, we're not going to do those at this convention today, but I think that is, they are usually okay. quite fun, but um, good, good thinking. Do you have maybe something else? Yeah, what was your favorite part about making Stranger Things? So I Working like with it. Joe and Mason and the Duffer Brothers. They're so awesome, all of them. They're so lovely. Thank you. Do the Duffer Brothers just, do you, do you look at them and you feel like they have every, all the knowledge? Yeah, just, oh my gosh, the second I got there, I was like, can we talk about movies, please? And they're <laughs> like, oh, a fellow cinema, yes. <laughs> well, what did you want to talk to them about? Um, I, I, I wanted to talk, I, I'm so bad with titles, but, um, so I talked about movies that I had just recently seen that I was like, this is cool. And they're like, wow, you saw that? I was like, yes. And then they're like, have you seen this, this, this? I was like, fuck, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Dr. Chivago yeah. is the most great, a great, so good. really good, so good. definitely long though, yes. yeah, a great, but amazing, definitely, agreed, agreed, <laughs> hi, great uniform, thank you, hi, so I was wondering if, um, let's say Chrissy, like, survived for longer after they found out the song thing, do you know what song you think would save her? A Town Girl, by Billy yeah. Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Hi. Hi. I have a just a quick question. What rank in Valorant are you again? <laughs> What's up, Grace? My name is Jonathan. I have a comment and a question. Of uh, course, the comment. Um, I just want to say, you know, seeing you as Chrissy and seeing Joseph as Eddie, it's it's been amazing, and it's been fun dressing up as Eddie and telling people to protect me from basketball players. <laughs> for and for my question, I wanted to ask, uh, what was it like auditioning for Chrissy on Stranger Things? Like, did you know it was going to be Stranger Things? Yes. 
And it was very simple. I just sent in the tape and they were like, you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that usually how simple the audition process is, or is this like an easier one? Um, I've actually had a few things with that, yeah. which I, I but like pre-COVID, yes. um, which is surprising to me, because yeah. usually it should be a long process where you're just brought in and dragged along until they're eventually like, we don't want you, <laughs> yeah. um, which has happened, and it's heartbreaking, and then I just kind of go into this like depression for a few months, but no, some projects immediately, they're like, we don't want to see anyone else. They knew you were Chrissy right away. Yeah. Um, yeah. Amazing. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, what is your favorite show or movie you've acted in? Crazy thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer for this crowd. <laughs> what made it? What made it such a special experience? I was a fan before I was a part of it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Who was your favorite character? Like when you were watching. Okay, um, my favorite character is Eleven, but I think I am, um, Winona Ryder as Joyce is amazing, but oh, also yes. I just think yeah. Daker did, Daker did that. As Billy? Yeah, as Billy, I think he's so talented. I'm a huge Billy fan yeah. too, um, and I'm a lesbian, so not for the reasons that you think I am. fantastic. I will okay, so he's so talented. It's incredible. Yeah, great answer. Hi. Hi. So, we've talked about this before, but like, obviously Chrissy was only in one episode, she went way too soon, but like, how, looking at that episode and looking at the emotional impact it's obviously made on people, and the connection that everyone seems to feel with her, where did you start when you got the role of Chrissy and you saw those scripts? Um, well, I didn't actually get a script until I was in Georgia. Because um, the Dever Brothers called me up and they wanted to talk about Chrissy and the character with me. And I was like, yeah, 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 I can definitely do that. Um, I don't know what happens to her though, so whatever you want to tell me. And they were like, oh, wait, what do you mean? They didn't know I hadn't read a script or anything. And I was supposed to be on set the next day. So they were like, let's get this girl a script. <laughs> and also rewatch Black Swan. So I did both those things, and then I had like, have you guys seen Black Swan? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I had a pretty good idea of the character after that. Like, she's very sad, but, and sensitive, but she's a real person. Um, what makes you, I feel like that because this is so loud, I don't even want to talk about it. Um, no, you're good, you're good. It's out there, it's good. Right, you guys, it's not too loud, right? No. No. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, Black Swan was pretty much what I had to go with. Well, I think Chrissy is such an interesting subversion of what we all expected that character to be. Because in like a normal 80s movie, Chrissy would be like the mean girl who yeah. you can root against, you know? And it was so refreshing to see your take and the Duffer's take on that character that she's so likable. And to your point, she is a person. Well, that's what the Duffer's told me when we had our first conversation. They were like, you were the only person that played Chrissy sweet. They're like, everyone else played her mean. Oh, I um, love that. I love that. So I'm, I'm happy they picked me so that I could give Chrissy the sweetness that I wanted her to have. Yeah, you got her right away. I love that. Amazing. Great That's question. So Thanks. Hi. Hi. Oh, wow. So many good questions before me. Um, my question is, what was your reaction to hearing the Chrissy Wake Up song for the first time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be honest. The first time I heard it, I was like, That's so cool. I did not think it was going to turn into what it has, but it is awesome. I, I hope there's at least one person in here who has it as their arm to wake up to. Yep. <laughs> oh, we got one. We got one over here. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah, you're like a cultural phenomenon. It's kind of wild. I don't know if it's like Chrissy or if it's that song. <laughs> I mean, there would be no song without Chrissy, so. <laughs> That's true. Hi. Um, oh, my God. pretty sad. Yeah. Like I, I had to play most things pretty sad. 
Um, so that scene with Joe is like the, the only time that Chrissy actually gets to be happy yeah. and laugh. Yeah. So that, that was my favorite part. That's really great. Have you guys stayed in touch? Like, oh my gosh, stuff? yes. That's great. It's been so nice to like have the cast and have everyone during the release. <laughs> oh yeah, because that's a big whirlwind that only you guys can really understand. Yeah, I so I think every time we see each other, we're just like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> like seeing family again. Yeah. It's really cool. And it must be neat to run into your co-stars at cons like this. Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. <laughs> and you get to like, uh, we're, are you, anybody in here seeing The Hobbits tomorrow night? Maybe I'll see the those guys in every city they like go out to a nice dinner wherever they are they like find it, which is great and i feel like i feel like you guys should you should do that as you travel definitely yeah it, it's cool with mason we were in um uh montreal, uh, montreal yeah. about a few weeks ago a month ago i don't know anymore uh, but we were supposed to go out to dinner together, but then we both like just kept picking different places. <laughs> and we were like, I want to go here. And I was like, well, I'm going here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Show up if you want to. And then we would like, we would be go, like crossing paths, going to different places while we were out at night. And we would be like, hey. <laughs> we'd be like, you want to come? And we'd be like, no. No. <laughs> I've seen enough of you. But we love each other. Yeah. So I've seen him again in. Two weeks? I don't know. <laughs> at one of these. Yeah. At one of these. Eventually, it becomes kind of like I said, a it whirlwind. Because <laughs> you said, I mean, you've been to Wales and you're going to Australia now, and like, it's a really cool opportunity to see the world, right? Very much so. Yeah. Are you? Is there any place in particular you're excited to visit? Australia. You, have you ever been before? For a layover. Okay. <laughs> so now, like, this will be great. Yeah, yeah. That's really it's cool. so cool. Yeah. We were talking backstage, and it's kind of like. It's great that you're taking advantage of this moment, you yeah. know, because who knows when something like this could happen again. I've never. <laughs> think, I mean, it is pretty once in a lifetime. Yeah. So that's very dope. Hi. Hi. Um, I have two questions. Um, one is, would you ever think that you would be in the Stranger Things cast? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch Stranger Things like before you got you before you were crazy? I binge got... watched it <laughs> when it ever came out. Oh yeah. Did, were there? Do we have other binge watchers in here? Yeah. Did anybody watch uh, this final drop when it came out at midnight and like stay up till four a.m.? Yeah. Yep. This last season is the only one that I didn't like binge watch right away. Really? And it was your <laughs> But to be fair, Joe and Mason spoiled everything for me already, so I didn't. <laughs> you already knew what was coming. Yeah. Darn, darn. There was no avoiding that, I guess. Yeah, like one of my first dinners out with them, uh, we went over to Joe's place, and Joe and Mason were just like, would you know what happens? And I was like, no. And they were like, well, I die, and I die. And I was like, stop! <laughs> but how? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, question, comment. Comment, um, I'm hearing with this queer audience that we're all going to a drag bar tonight is what I'm hearing. Uh, <laughs> Deal. Uh, someone on. tweeted one to me earlier and I was like, okay, bet. Um, <laughs> and then question, what is your go-to like comfort movie or show? <laughs> okay. This is a really bad movie to have as my comfort movie, but I love rewatching Closer. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's a horrible thing. I love that for you. <laughs> what, what is it about it that you find comforting? Uh, I have crushes on all the actors in it. <laughs> Maybe that's what's comforting. That is totally valid. I support you. Absolutely. Thank you. Great question. Thank you. Hi. Hey, so I was gonna ask you what your favorite anime is, because you had this kind of like otaku vibe about you, but then I heard that you like Paul Newman, and I'm like, wait, what is her favorite Paul Newman movie? How is everyone answer it? Answer so it's Paul Newman and anime? 
however you want to answer it. <laughs> um, my favorite Paul Newman movie is Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. It's my favorite movie ever. Um, but he's also great in Cool Young Luke. Guys, if you haven't watched these movies, please. Um, and then my favorite anime is I love watching No Game No Life and Plastic Memories and Your Name. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> So, I know in media there isn't usually a lot of representation of queer char characters, or at least until recently there hasn't really been. And I personally haven't seen season four of Stranger Things, so I'm really sorry to say that. I know you're from Greenhouse Academy, <laughs> and that's basically why I'm here. And I just wanted to say that was one of my comfort shows for so long, and you had such a great performance in it, and it was wonderful. But my question really was. How did you realize you were queer? How did I realize? Yeah, how did you realize and sort of how did you come to... I know sometimes people, they just accept themselves, like, immediately. But sometimes I feel like it's really hard for people to do that, and I was just, like, wondering how your experience was with that, personally. Yeah, um, I always had crushes on girls, but I didn't really, like, understand what it was at first, because no one really talked to me about that. Um, and then when I was 20 was when this girl that I was like sort of crushing on actually asked me on a date and that's when I sort of had like this self tunnel realization of like, wait, I can say yes and mean it and like, cause I just, yeah, before that I hadn't really accepted it with, for myself. Um, so that, that was my big realization. It was a great day. <laughs> <laughs> great, great, great answer. Uh, I, I think that is so valid too, and it's it takes sometimes someone else, like you said in your first answer, yeah. to kind of help you with that sometimes. So I think it's really cool that you're so open about it. Thanks. Yeah. Great question. Thank you so much. And by the way, I wanted Brooke to be gay so badly, but the producers wouldn't let me make her gay. But I was like, with Ariel, who plays Haley, I was always like, we should be a couple. And she was like, yes, it would like break the show. Like, we don't need any of these men. And I was like, yes. But they refused. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, we can say from here on out, in our canon, She's fine. <laughs> that works. We had a great ship name. It's Brooke and Haley, so we had Hook. Oh, really good. Yeah, really like good. we would always say it to each other. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's interesting to hear you talk about that because I do feel like so many shows would be improved by just giving the fans like what they see and what you guys obviously saw in the subtext there. And so the more, you know, the more the time goes on, I think the better we're going to get about representation, so yeah. it's helpful. They did let me change a few things with that show, so. That's great. Yeah. That was really nice. Yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Chloe. Hi. I'm Chloe. <laughs> um, we just want to say we love you. I love you too. So much. <laughs> like, we love your like, screen time and everything. But our question was specifically, what was your favorite moment on the set of Stranger Things? The forest scene. Oh, it was really yeah. fun to film. Again, because I got to be happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Joe got to improv a lot, which was very fun to watch. Oh, that's really cool. How much of that scene was improv? Stabbing his heart, or mock stabbing, and falling on the ground is all him. It was supposed to just be us sitting across each other the entire time. But he did that all on his own. Um, and then a few of our lines were improv, which is just like always really nice when you get to see them actually put it in the edit, where it's just like, oh, you trusted us, cool. <laughs> yeah, you both really knew your character as well, obviously, so. Thank you. That's really cool. Yeah. That's Thank you, Chloe, awesome. and also Chloe. <laughs> Thank you. Did you guys practice that beforehand? Like, if you get to say which? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love it, you're dorks. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, first off, I love you. But, you too. Um, what do you think would have happened if Chrissy didn't die? <laughs> um, I think 
she would have broken up with Jason real yep. quick. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And I think Eddie would have learned her favorite song on the guitar so that he could play it whenever Becky was coming. Amazing. Everyone is so nice. I kind of expected it to be like very secluded and I get there and like no one really wants to talk or hang out and it's just like do your job, get your work done, go home. But it wasn't like that. Everyone was really nice and it was it turned into more playtime than work time. <laughs> We were just like hanging out all the time, on set and on the off set, and it just it was really nice. Everyone is so friendly. Was it intimidating to join like such a well-established cast? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and were you like nervous about it? Very much so. I thought that they would all be like way too cool. <laughs> but they're all very humble and very kind with their time, and it, yeah, it's just amazing. That's really cool. Yes. I love that. Thanks. Hey, Grace. Hi. Um, kind of similar to his uh, previous question, if Chrissy survived past the first episode, uh, where could you see her story going, and how would she interact with the other characters and stuff? Um, Ooh, do you think she would be like buds with with Nancy, maybe, or Steve, or any of the? No, I kind of feel like she'd be buds with Robin. Yeah. 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 Overly chatty thing, and Chrissy would just say, Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Amazing. Such a dynamic duo. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Grace. It was Hi. really nice to be able to speak with you. You're oh. just such a sweet and fun person. Um, I have a comment and a question. So, my comment is that um, you were in Greenhouse Academy, and back in middle school, I was bullied quite a lot. And I had this one bully who was always quite rude to me and especially picked on me. But sometimes he would be nice to me. And actually, one of the things he was always nice to me about was that we were two of the only kids in our school who liked Greenhouse Academy. <laughs> so he would always speak to me about that. And it was really funny. And he would especially talk about like your character a lot. <laughs> um, he also talked about like a lot of other characters. But <laughs> Um, you brought up yours a lot. Uh, and also, my question is, my dad works in the movie industry, and I've been able to see what the atmosphere is like on set and just around the set. And I'm just wondering what your favorite thing about like being on set and being in that industry is. Um, um, I think getting to work with other people who are doing the same job as me, where it's just like, oh, you're crazy too? <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, and then like getting to live with um, a new mind, like a to completely different backstory to me, completely different life to me. I, I love getting to do that. Um, Cause usually my characters, even if they're lame, they're usually a little more cool than me, which is fun. <laughs> Thanks, it was really nice to talk to you. <laughs> and for a small fee, Grace will beat your middle school bully at Valorant. <laughs> I you were going to say beat them up, and I was like, yeah! <laughs> and also <laughs> Hi. 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 I love you so much. I love you too. Um, I just wanted to ask if you could play any character from any movie or any TV show, who would you like to play? Oh. Sigourney Weaver, an alien. Oh. You guys are too young to have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> shaved head or no? She doesn't have a shaved head in the first one. Wait, yeah, but that's the third one. I want to, I want to be here in the first one. <laughs> that's, that's the really good one. <laughs> She is so badass in that oh movie. Oh my gosh. Talk about girl crushes. Oh. Like, <laughs> for sure. I am obsessed. That was so good. Great question. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. 
Um, so with Stranger Things season four, it dived definitely much more into the horror roots of the series, which as a horror fan I absolutely love. Is that a genre you would uh, be interested in continuing performing in? Or? Um, on my resume for the longest time when I was starting out, it had, because you have to like list the special skills you can do that maybe a character can do. Um, so I had like, can accent English, accent Southern, play basketball, play tennis, scream loudly. <laughs> uh, which was new. So a lot of times I'd walk into rooms and for things that weren't even horror related a lot of the time, where it was just like, like even for Greenhouse Academy, which I, I don't think I screamed, I was screaming, but I don't know if they had it written yet. The producers would be like, wow, we see you have this, can we hear? And I was like, you don't want to. And they're like, yeah, we do. And they're like, I was like, no, you don't. And they're like, really? Should we get to the back of the room? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and afterwards, they were like, ow, why would you do that? I was like, I warned you. Okay. It's my fault. No. Oh, no. Superpowers, and I think you were great on this panel. Would you all agree? Yeah. 